In this video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up K SuperKey for a KDE desktop in an Ubuntu based system. So, what K SuperKey does is allows you to bind the application launcher to the Windows key. So, instead of using Alt and F1, you can now just press the Windows key and the application launcher appears. And it also works with other application launchers such as Home Run. So, it's ideal if you've come from the Windows world and you're just used for a single key shortcut. In fact, if you use Unity as well, it's the same thing in there. Okay, well, there's a couple of ways of installing KSuperKey. You can take the simple option of adding the repository and installing it through the software center, or you can download the source code and compile it. I'm going to take the easy option. So to do this, take a copy of that repository there, and I'll leave a note in the description below. We'll open up console, and type in sudo add apt repository, and you can press the tab key to autocomplete. Paste in the repository, using the middle click on the mouse button, pop in your password, press enter, then sudo apt get update. This only works up until Kubuntu 13.10, but hopefully the repository will be updated fairly soon when Kubuntu 14.04 will be released in April. And finally, sudo apt get install k superkey. Then reboot your computer. I've not checked to see if logout login works. Let's just go with the simple option of rebooting. That way I don't have to type in my password again. All right, let's try it out and press the Windows key. Oh look, it opens up the application menu. Sweet. Unfortunately, I can't demo pressing that key, can I? But you can also use it in other widgets. So let's go to add a widget. And I want the home run launcher. Then if you right click on it, go into the home run launcher settings, go to keyboard shortcut, and then you just press the windows key, but it's going to come up as alt and F1. So yes, you can use alt and F1, but you can also use windows key with another key on the keyboard. So that works perfectly fine. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later.